Something on the top. There we go. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. Welcome to the Town of Hampton Board of Selectmen, 16 March 2015. Selectmen's meeting, Roman 1, oath of office, swearing in of elected officials, one, Town of Hampton elected officials, two, Hampton School district elected officials, and number three, Winnicott School District elected officials. The town clerk, please, ma'am. Start with Selectman, James Waddell, uh -huh. and Phil Bean. <coughs> Raise your right hands, repeat after me. I state your name. I, Jim Waddell. I, Phil Bean. Do solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will bear faith and true allegiance, that I will bear faith and true allegiance to the United States of America, to the United States, States of America, and the State of New Hampshire, the State of New Hampshire, and will support the constitutions thereof, and will support the constitutions thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I state your name. I Jim Waddell. Do solemnly and sincerely, solemnly and sincerely, swear and affirm, swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially, that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform, discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me, all the duties incumbent upon me as selectman, as selectman according to the best of my abilities, according to the best of my ability, agreeably to the rules and regulations, agreeably to the rules and regulations of this constitution, of this constitution and the laws of the state of New Hampshire, and the laws of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Oh, Jim, you are there, there. <coughs> Should have out the Jane says that they're asleep. <laughs> you want Thanks, you. Thank you. Okay, trustee of the trust funds. We have John Sovich and Norman Silberdick, and I don't think either one of them are here. Um, the tax collector stopped by my office this afternoon and got sworn in. Uh, library trustee Richard DeRosier and Diane Crow. Richard is not here. She needs it. He's on vacation. Jane. Oh, is he? She needs a oh, oh, thank you. <coughs> Raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I, Diane Crow. I, Diane Crow. Do solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will bear faith and true allegiance that I will bear faith and true allegiance to the United States of America, the United States of America, and the State of New Hampshire, the State of New Hampshire, and will support the constitutions thereof, and will support the constitutions thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, Diane Crow, I, Diane Crow, do solemnly and sincerely, do solemnly and sincerely, swear and affirm, swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially, that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform, discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me, all the duties incumbent upon me as a library trustee, as a library. Trustee. According to the best of my abilities, according to the best of my abilities, agreeably to the rules and regulations, agreeably to the rules and regulations of this constitution, of this constitution, and the laws of the state of New Hampshire, and the laws of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, planning board. Morris Friedman, Tracy Emmerich, and Ann Carnaby. My understanding is <coughs> Morris in the hospital, is that correct? Okay. Yeah. Are there signs that you don't want? It's fine. As long as it's <laughs> Mike's can you hold up a little bit taller, right? <laughs> Raise your right hand, repeat after me. I state your name. I, I am Carnaby. Do solemnly swear, Do solemnly swear that, I will bear faith and true that I will bear faith and true allegiance to the United States of America and the state of New Hampshire. And, state of New Hampshire. and will support the constitutions thereof. And will support the constitutions thereof. So help me God. So help help me God. God. I state your name. I, Tracy I am Carnaby. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Swear and affirm. Swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. 
partially. Discharge and perform. Discharge, Discharge and perform. perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties, duties incumbent, incumbent upon, upon me. me. As a member of the planning board. As, as a member, member of the planning board. board. According, to the According to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Rules and regulations of this constitution. Of this constitution. And the laws of the state of New Hampshire. And the laws of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Cemetery trustee Tom Harrington. <laughs> Budget committee Michael Clough, Glenn Farrell, who's not here, Sonny Kravitz, and Nicholas Bridal. Who am I missing? Alan Scott Blair. Uh, what's his name? Farrell. Glenn Farrell. Mm -hmm. Yes, Scott. Yeah, Alan, Alan Blair is not here either. Okay. Raise your right hands. Repeat after me. I state your name. I am Nicholas Bridal. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will bear faith and true allegiance. That I will bear faith and true allegiance to the United States of America. To the United States of America. In the state of New Hampshire. In the state of New Hampshire. And will support the Constitution <laughs> thereof. Will support the Constitution <laughs> thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I do. I state your name. I am Nicholas Bravo. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Swear and affirm. Swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. Discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me as a member of the budget committee. As a member of the budget committee. According to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of this constitution. Of this constitution and the laws of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, don't go away. Don't go away. That's my. Oh, is he? <laughs> Raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I, Norma Collins. I, Norma Collins. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will bear faith and true allegiance. That I will bear faith and true allegiance to the United States of America. To the United States of America and the state of New Hampshire. And the state of New Hampshire. And will support the constitutions thereof. And will support the constitutions thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, Norma Collins. I, Norma Collins. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely swear and affirm. Swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me all the duties incumbent upon me as a member of the zoning board as a member of the zoning board according to the best of my abilities according to the best of my abilities agreeably to the rules and regulations agreeably to the rules and regulations of this constitution of this constitution and the laws of the state of new hampshire and the laws of the state of new hampshire so help me god so help me god congratulations thank you Jane. <laughs> Congratulations, thanks. Oh, one more, no more, right here. One more, yeah, right there, too, please. That's okay. 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 okay, on to Hampton School District. And as school district clerk, I'm going to have Tom swam in first. I need to get sworn in first before I can swear you in. Well, I can. I can, I can as just for the piece, but, you know. There you go. Other side. Do I need to say it, or you can just, you can just go right just through it. it? Yeah, go right through it. Go ahead. You know it better than I do. I, Jane Cyber, do solemnly swear to bear faith and true allegiance to the United States of America and the state of New Hampshire and support the Constitution's thereof, so help me God. 
I, Jane Seifer, do solemnly and sincerely swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me as school district clerk according to the best of my abilities, agreeably to the rules and regulations of this Constitution and the laws of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> I own Levin. I own Levin. I own Levin. I own Levin. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will bear faith and true allegiance. That I will bear faith and true allegiance to the United States of America. To the United States of America and the state of New Hampshire. And the state of New Hampshire. And will support the constitutions thereof. And will support the constitutions thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I own Levin. I own Levin. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely swear and affirm. Swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. Discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. Upon me as school district treasurer, as school district treasurer, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability, agreeably to the rules and regulations, agreeably to the rules and regulations of this constitution, of this constitution, and the laws of the state of New Hampshire, and the laws of the state of New Hampshire. So, so, God. so help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, school board. Pepper Ring and Frank DeLuca. Well, I don't have to say Charlotte this time. <laughs> you can say it however you want. I will just. I say knew you were here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I state your name. I Frank DeLuca. Do solemnly swear. Do, Do solemnly swear, swear that I will bear faith and true allegiance. That I will bear, bear faith, faith and true allegiance, allegiance to the United States of America, to the United, United States, States of America, 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 and the State of New Hampshire, and the State, State of, of New Hampshire. Hampshire. And will support the constitutions thereof. And support and the constitutions thereof. thereof. So help me God. So help me God. God. I state your name. I Frank DeLuca. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly, Do solemnly and, and sincerely. Swear and affirm. Swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties, duties incumbent upon me. As a school board member, as a school board, board member, according to the best of my abilities, according to the best of my abilities, abilities, agreeably to the rules and regulations, agreeably to the rules and regulations of this constitution, of this constitution, and the laws of the state of New Hampshire, and the laws of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Doing school board right okay. now. Budget okay. committee is after. <laughs> okay. Raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I, Catherine and Antonio. I, Catherine Antonio. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will bear faith and true allegiance. That I will bear faith and true allegiance to the United States of America. To the United States of America. And the state of New Hampshire. And the state of New Hampshire. And will support the constitutions thereof. And will support the constitutions thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, Catherine Antonio. I, Catherine Antonio. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Swear and affirm. Swear and affirm. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Winnicott School Board. As a member of the Winnicott School Board. According to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Of this Constitution. Of this Constitution. And the laws of the state of New Hampshire. And the laws of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you.
Fred Caesar, so. Okay. Right. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Chris Singleton. I, Chris Singleton. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will bear faith and true allegiance. That I will bear faith and true allegiance. To the United States of America. To the United States of America. And the state of New Hampshire. And the state of New Hampshire. And will support the constitutions thereof. And will support the constitutions thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, Chris Singleton. I, Chris Singleton. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Swear and affirm. Swear and affirm. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me as a member of the Winnicott Budget Committee. As a member of the Winnicott Budget Committee, according to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities, agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of this Constitution. Of this Constitution and the laws of the State of New Hampshire. And the laws of the State of New Hampshire. <coughs> so help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Continuing Roman two reorganization of the board of selectmen, one election of chairman and vice chairman, a motion for chairman, board of selectmen. Mr. Waddell. Um, uh, nominate Rick Griffin as chairman. I'll second. Waddell, Bridal. All those in favor? Three. I'm going to abstain. And an abstention. Okay. Two abstain. abstentions. <coughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's right. I don't it's know. There's something the matter with yeah. it. Uh, Too big for the slide. That's the problem. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you. So going on um, is for the vice chairman nominations. Nominate Rusty Bridal. Second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Well, I abstained. <laughs> but that's we need oh, to I'm switch. sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. So we get a switch now? Yeah. Okay. Abstained. <laughs> yeah, I abstained. Protocol. Mm -hmm. Protocol. Yeah, well, tradition. I think it's true. If I sit next to Yeah. We're going to have appointment of member and alternate member to the budget committee. Do we nominate for that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I yeah. nominate Mary Louise for the budget committee. Thank you. I'll second. All those in favor? Four and one abstention. I'll abstain, yeah. Appointment of member and alternate member to the planning board. Um, Did we get the alternate member to the budget committee? We did that. Yeah. Oh, the alternate member. Do we do we do a uh, yes, sir. a nomination for that? Too? Yep. 
I'll nominate Mr. Bridal. I'll second it. All those in favor? And as appointment for a member, an alternate member to the planning board. I'll nominate um, Jim Waddell as the. I'll second. All those in favor? I'll abstain. Four and one abstention. And for the alternate. I'll nominate Mr. Bean. Would you? I'll second it. All those in favor? Four and one abstention. We now have public comment. Anyone having public comment? Good evening. Good evening. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Congratulations, Selectman Waddell and Bean, on your reelection. Thank you. And congratulations to everybody else who achieved their goals at town meeting this year. Um, I'm here to speak on behalf of one group that um, whose goals I think in part didn't get achieved, and those are the non-union town employees who did not get their raises this year because the operating budget was not approved by the voters. And I think this is an ongoing problem in Hampton, um, in part because we, I don't know if we more frequently than other towns um, do not pass the operating budget, um, but it seems that that happens here fairly frequently. And every time we don't pass the operating budget, those employees don't get their raises. Those raises have been recommended by their, the people they report to. They've been vetted by you, the Board of Selectmen, in your budget review process. They've also been vetted by the Budget Committee in their budget review process. So they've gone through the processes of having their reviews reviewed, having their salary raises reviewed and approved by everybody but the voters. And because of the fact that those raises, those increases, are tied in with the operating budget, I don't think most voters really consider that when they vote against, when they don't vote for the operating budget, all those people don't get their increases. I think the voters would like to, there to be another way that they could reward the town employees for the good work that they do for us, give them their just salary increases without necessarily having it tied to the operating budget. I don't know how to make that happen. Uh, the town clerk tried to find another way to make that happen this year. That didn't work in that particular instance, but I don't know if that's something to consider going forward for all town employees. Um, so I'm respectfully challenging you, the Board of Selectmen, to try to come up with a way that we can make sure that our employees, um, non-union employees in town, are adequ adequately paid and rewarded for the good work that they do for us without necessarily having it tied to the operating budget. Um, I think it's fair and reasonable, um, and I think it's a problem, and I think it's a problem that needs to be solved because our employees are being hurt by it. And it's not right. It's not something that they have any control over whatsoever. Um, so I'm asking you to take control, and we've got a lot of time. See if we can find a way to solve this dilemma. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to speak? Seeing none, we'll go to announcements and community calendar. Um, Mr. Waddell? Yeah, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank Phil Bean for his year as chairman. He's done a great job. He's really uh, kept the meetings running very orderly, very efficiently. And uh, thank you, Phil. You've done a great job. Thank, thank you very much. Well. Also, I'd like to say that we had the town election last week, that the voters have spoken, that we have a budget now we've got to work with. Uh, I'm going to agree with what Jay said that some of our town employees, that we need to get their salaries up. I think we as Board of Selectmen have to do a good job this year of presenting that to the public, also comparing and showing what our, our public employees do and how their salaries compare with other salaries in comparable towns, that we're very low paid right now and that, that it's not fair to our employees. So I think we need to work on that. I think we need to come up with a set of goals for the uh, Board of Selectmen that we should deal with and try to achieve this year. So we got a lot of work to do. I think we got a lot of positive going forward, and we're going to have a great year. Mr. Bridal? I've got nothing for the community calendar. Just uh, congratulations to both Jim and Phil for their re-election uh, and to all the people that were elected this year. Um, 
the voters, as, as you said, voters did speak. We'll we'll do with what we have. Uh, there were some there were some gains and there were some losses. There was some happiness and some disappointments. And uh, but we'll move forward. So thank you, Mr. Bean. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. And uh, thank you to the board uh, for this year. Uh, it was great to work with you and for you. Mr. Welch, and to your assistant town manager, thank you. And to the good people of Hampton, those that participated in the election process, those that took the time to vote uh, on any issue, those that uh, um, uh, did not run or, or are not serving again uh, this year, thank you very much for your town service and those that uh, we swore in tonight. Uh, congratulations and welcome aboard. Thank you, sir. And Mrs. Yes, Wilson. I think those of us who were at the polls really appreciate the feedback that we got from the public because people aren't bashful about buttonholing you and expressing their opinions, and that feedback is very valuable. So I appreciated that. Thank you. And I don't have anything, but thank you all for tonight. Um, I think we all worked hard at the polls, too, so it was interesting to really getting to see and getting a lot of feedback from the public. So it was an enjoyable time, as usual. Going on to the consent agenda, we have number one, veterans requalification, number two, parade and gathering license for the Memorial Day Parade, number three, use of town property and electronic message boards, town offices, parking lot, Hampton Garden Club, correction of Rockingham Planning Board appointee term expirations. DRA 2014 Equalization Municipal Assessment Data Certificate. Six is Hampton Cemetery Deed. So yeah, that's it. Do we have a motion? Motion to accept the consent agenda. Second. All those in favor? It's unanimous. Appointments, approval of minutes. Number one is February 23rd, 2015. I'll move uh, that we approve. Yes, sir. Just two quick uh, uh, corrections on page uh, four. Roles is spelled incorrectly. And on page nine, uh, council is spelled incorrectly for those. And on page six, it should be rights of way uh, at the end of the second paragraph. Is there a second? Second. Okay. All those in favor? Unanimous. Number two is March 2nd, 2015. Also moved. Second. All those in favor? Up. Oh, is there correction? Corrections, page one. Um, my name was spelled wrong under announcements and community calendar, and it should uh, say a very nice letter from residents of Hampton, not for. I have a couple of others that I caught. On page six of seven, um, wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry, page seven. Uh, new business. Um, the seawall shows a seawall revamp at 1040 Ocean Boulevard. It should be 1030 Ocean Boulevard. That's it. And there is a second. All those in favor, unanimous. And number three, March 9th, 2015, non-public session. I'll so move. Second. All those in favor, unanimous. <laughs> now we're going into the town manager's report. Mr. Welch. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, uh, I have a correction to item number one. We have received some more bills. Uh -oh. um, we currently stand uh, for the wintertime cleanup, which never seems to end at a figure of $457,332.07. That is $296,767.07 over the budget for that function. Uh, I will make the comment that I understand the governor announced yesterday that she is going to ask the president to declare uh, at least storm one to be a, a disaster and ask for a presidential declaration. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I know that storms two and three were not declared by the governor. 
so we don't know what the actual upshot of those two storms will be as far as reimbursement is concerned. Uh, at least storm one is in the in the queue for some action to take place, and hopefully that happens because we can certainly use the help. Um, I will tell you that uh, we continue to struggle with costs, and and uh, we're going to have some more of them as we go along. So. Uh, I will tell you also the bids for the uh, work for drainage installation are scheduled that's um, to be released on April 1st. So those bids are uh, for the Exeter Road and the Highway Block Grant paving are also scheduled to be released on April 1. So that would be all of our public works projects for this year that require outside construction efforts will be released. We're planning on releasing those on April 1st. Um, for those who do not know, <clears throat> Mr. Noyes, Keith Noyes, uh, has submitted his retirement resignation effective April 7, 2015, which completes his 30 years of service in public works. Um, just for the board's information, I uh, deadlined one of our vehicles, um, <coughs> truck number 19, which is a 2003 pickup truck, which has a value of $13,867 at purchase. Um, we've exceeded that value in repair costs, and it needs an additional $2,900 worth of repairs, so I've instructed Public Works to park it. Uh, and you have all received, I hope, because I personally put them in your mailboxes, the uh, 2016 to 2021 CIP Vehicle Equipment Inventory. So you should all have that for your information. Um, and that's it, sir. Okay, questions for the town manager. Mr. Bridal. Uh, nope, just uh, with, with your uh, note there of uh, Keith Noyce retiring, uh, send him all the best. Thank you. Mrs. Wellesley? Oh, that's Mr. Fine. Bean? No, sir. Mr. Waddell? Uh, yes, all the best to Keith on okay. his retirement. And uh, hopefully the state and well, the federal will come across with some money to help us out. Uh, we, we desperately need it, obviously. I mean, we're desperately way over. Mm. Um, so I hope so. Sure. And the bids are going out on, on Exeter Road. Would, are we anticipating getting that done this summer? My instructions to the department is to use every effort possible to have that paved before July 4th. Before mm. July 4th. That would be really good. And the uh, drainage? The drainage work is going to depend on, on the bid taken. Um, Obviously, that's probably the one of the most sensitive areas of town. Mm -hmm. It's going to result in detours. It's going to result in inconvenience to a lot of people. Uh, I'd like that done at the least vulnerable period of time. So it will depend on when the bidders specify it. Uh, they can do the work. It has to be finished before February of next year. Okay. And we'll make sure that we keep all those businesses informed about what's happening to, because it will obviously affect their businesses yeah. somewhat. As, as soon as we know, and we're going to try to make it as convenient as possible and, and the least possible interruption to those those individuals. That may involve working at night okay, uh, because we don't want to tie up a lot of daytime traffic yeah. depending <clears throat> on where the work could be done. Uh, it may be noisy, and we apologize for that in advance. Uh, but we can't shut those businesses down, and we can't shut the residential area down in that particular area. There's no, there's no actual reroute for them to use because we do have to go down High Street, and then we have to go down Lafayette Road, and we have to go down through our easement over in the uh, the uh, depot complex. So it's going to be once we get off Lafayette Road, we're in pretty good shape. But that's going to be a a real mess. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, number eight, return to recess public hearing of February 23rd for Lot B for continuation should need arise. Mr. Chairman, I would suggest to the board the need has not arisen as of yet and that we continue that to our next agenda. Thank you. <clears throat> number nine, new business. Mr. Rydell? I have nothing right now. Mrs. Walsley? Uh, yes, I'm just going to make a suggestion that we call our state representatives. Uh, I received the SPCA news uh, over the weekend, and there is a bill. It's called House Bill 624, and it's uh, it says the um, what is the cost of animal care bill? H 
B624 would require that financial support is provided for the care of legally seized animals, the owner's property, while they're being held in protective custody during an investigation and trial. New Hampshire SPCA and other animal welfare organizations and municipalities continue to incur these costs providing services which should be the responsibility of the owner defendant. Our agencies, compassionate about the well-being of animals in our communities, take on the responsibility and the cost because we believe the safety of the animals come first. The cost of animal care bill would provide that a bond hearing be expeditiously held to determine the cost of animal care and to whom that responsibility will fall. The hearing would shift the financial responsibility back to the owner as the animal cruelty case works its way through our court system rather than the municipality or nonprofit animal shelter caring for the animals. That seems like a, a no-brainer. It's House Bill 624, and I will appreciate it if members of the board and also members of the public would give a quick call to their representatives in support of that bill. Thank you. Mr. Bean? No, sir. Mr. Waddell. Yeah, new business. I think uh, the suggestion I made under uh, comments is that the uh, the board selectmen come up with a, a set of goals for this year that we at some point get together and and mm. set up some goals, some very simple goals that we're going to try to achieve this year to make sure that we're uh, we're on board, we're doing what we need to do, and to make sure that we get a, a budget passed next year. Mm. So uh, by educating the public and stuff, I think that I think one other thing. Yeah, that's it. So <laughs> can we put that on the um, agenda for next week, Mr. I Hatch? have so noted, sir. Okay, thank you. And any other new business? Old business. Um, number one is one, uh, 128 Ashworth Avenue. We have the uh, town attorney joining us. So did you want to... I'll let Fred, Fred, let Fred talk about Fred, that. Fred, let me take the first leap. Sure. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, yeah. members of the board, um, I sent you a memorandum on March 5 dealing with this particular piece of property. It is a condominium complex located on Ashworth Avenue, uh, 128 Ashworth Avenue to be precise. Um, the way they're going to construct this building is to have parking under the building and there will be an in and an out which will cross the sidewalks in different locations for traffic for parking underneath the building. Um, to be added to the Department of Public Works should be a requirement that crosswalks be painted and we would recommend that on the sidewalk and the two openings for vehicle traffic entering and leaving a structure. The owner of property is to paint and maintain the crosswalk markings at their expense twice a year. Additionally, the sidewalks are to be sealed annually and the lighting on the building for the sidewalk is to be maintained. Item two, um, proposed sidewalk modifications are to be in accordance with the recommendation of the Department of Public Works contained in their inter-office <coughs> memo of March 5, 2015. In number three, the construction bond is to be valued by Jones and Beach and resubmitted to the Department of Public Works for review and approval once approved by DPW, and it has been. Uh, we recommend the bond be $35,959 for this project. That's for off-site improvements only. Hmm. So that would be our report, sir, and we would recommend that the selectmen adopt that information. Uh, if I might, Mr. Chairman, also, uh, the requirement, uh, this, this is a project where there are actually three sides worth of sidewalk, one of which is on Ashworth Avenue, and this will be concrete all around, and the sidewalk on the Ashworth Avenue, which is on town property. Um, a little unusually on this one is something that appears um, not only in the manager's recommendation, but also in the approval uh, conditions of the planning board <clears throat> that says the concrete sidewalk shall be sealed and treated once hardened and annually thereafter by the property owner in accordance with specifications from the Department of Public Works. This condition shall be clearly noted on the site plan and stated in condominium documents. Um, I haven't gotten those documents yet uh, to review, but once I do, I would add that in. But the point of my telling you about all this is that this is continuing involvement in maintenance of a public property mm -hmm. by a private entity, namely the Condominium Association. 
when we have done this in the past, such as at 580 Winnicunit Road, where the landscaping is being um, uh, maintained, a landscaped area on town property by the Condominium Association, we have uh, insisted on an indemnification agreement where the uh, uh, Condominium Association would indemnify and hold the town harmless for their activity. In other words, they have an obligation to treat the sidewalk. If they do it in a negligent way, we want to be indemnified, not, not be held liable. Uh, moreover, we would want to be uh, a named insured on their policy of liability insurance. And so those are two additional points that I would like to add to uh, the manager's item one, which spells out very nicely uh, what, uh, what would be appropriate. Okay. Thank you. Incorporating the remarks of both town council and town manager on uh, Roman 10 1 Alpha Bravo and Charlie to include a bonding amount of $35,959. I make that motion. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Any other? D did you have anything else? Um, I'm, I would suggest, uh, Mr. Chairman, at the uh, close of the meeting, that the vo a motion be made to go into non-public session under RSA 91A3, uh, Roman 2, um, small c, matters which, if discussed in public, would likely adversely affect the reputation of any person, and e, consideration or negotiation of pending claims or litigation. And th that type of motion needs to be made and seconded, and then a roll call vote would be necessary. But that would be at the close of all business. Okay. Um, any other old business? Mr. Bridal? All set. Thank you. Mrs. Wolseley? Yes. Since our town forest article did pass, fortunately, I'm going to ask the board if we can request that signs be placed at the entrances uh, to that uh, 12 shares area, uh, stipulating that the dog, the leash law, uh, for dogs be obeyed within the confines of the 12 shares property. People have been going in there, taking their dogs off the leash and letting them run around and chase the deer and, and so forth, which is not appropriate <coughs> in that area. So uh, I mentioned uh, that to Fred and he said hopefully we can just by, by virtue of the town forest article passing, uh, perhaps uh, erect signs uh, warning that uh, dogs unleashed are not acceptable in that area and sec number two in conjunction with the town forest article passing uh, I'm going to ask with Fred's guidance if we can have a, an amendment or adjustment to the ordinance where it's applicable uh, to stipulate that target shooting is strictly forbidden in that area not not talking about hunting hunting is different in the fall but that target shooting is uh, is uh, totally uh, forbidden and restricted in that area. That's very dangerous, and I think it's a tremendous liability to the town. But it might help the police department to enforce if, because um, that's known activity going on in there, help the police department to enforce and uh, cut back on that if we make that modification. And last item I have is that if it's appropriate now, I would like to move that we meet at an appropriate time with the planning board to discuss the lights and uh, hydrants. And uh, I'd like to bring up revetments uh, while we have an opportunity to talk with them, con just being consistent with the revetments. And I think it would help us to have a, an up-to-date list of the private roads. So if that's agreeable with all. Uh, Mr. Dean? I have no old no. business, no, sir. And Mr. Waddell? Yeah, I just want to comment on the uh, town forests and signs. Just a little, I mean, I'm not a big fan of signs and forests and woods. I'm yeah. a, I'm a, in fact, I'm anti-signs and forests and woods. So if there are any just really small. We'd put them on the road front. Okay, on the entry, just, just, entryway, Jim. Yeah, yeah. but just it's, small. I, I, I'm just not a big yeah. sign guy. Yeah. Uh, Something under 40 square feet. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> I think it would be nice. Um, 
And, and the target practice, I guess, you know, there's no problem with that. Yeah, I mean, it, it it's not target practice. It's, it's shooting. Yeah, I guess, uh, you know. And, and so with some young people, too, yeah. as they get out of school, that's very dangerous. That area is not designed for target shooting. And on meeting with the planning board, uh, <coughs> is that something, I mean, uh, are, are we doing that outside of a regular meeting? Because I don't, uh, you know, I'm not in favor of somebody inviting us to their meeting, and I, I don't know if we need to invite somebody to our well, meetings. Well, why don't we leave it to you, since right, you're going to be you. going there. <laughs> and uh, it's been a dilemma, and maybe you'll be able to solve it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so, thank you. Um, so any other old business? Seeing none, closing comments? And we need uh, a motion? Yes, under RSA 91 hyphen A <laughs> colon 3 Roman 2 small c and small e. I make a motion. I'll second. And the roll call? Aye. Aye. Thank you. <laughs> and um, we have a motion for adjournment at I don't know what time it is. The clock's not working. 1944. 1944. <laughs> and a second? Second. Second by Mr. Bridal. All those in favor, unanimous. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>